Hola friends and fellow artists. This is Art & Wine, my name's Jamie Bird, and I am now, for the next few months, coming to you from beautiful southern Mexico. So one of the things I wanted to talk about today is the challenge, or maybe not challenge, of setting up your temporary art studio. If you like art, you like wine, you like talking about creative things, then please subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I will let you know every time I put a video up. There are many reasons why we love this town. We have a great community. It's got really nice weather. It also just has beautiful people here. Everybody seems very, very kind. And we get to practice our Spanish and eat great Mexican food and drink tequila. So I might be switching from my wine to putting a little tequila in my glass every once in a while. I know I did another video that you can check out over here. That was what I packed for getting on an airplane with my oil and cold wax supplies. So I had packed together a kit of all the paints that I might need for doing oil and cold wax. I wasn't sure what I'd have available here and that was why I wanted to bring at least enough stuff to get me started so I could start painting as soon as I felt like painting. And so I was a little unsure of how everything was going to arrive. And I was told by Gamblin to just put this piece of paper on top of everything when I check my bag in that will alert the TSA people that these materials are not hazardous for flying. Yes, they're hazardous if you eat them, but they are not hazardous if you're flying with them and you check them in. The good news is they did arrive safe and sound and they had been inspected. I did see the little inspection sheet that they always put in there showing that they did rummage through your belongings and I was very pleased to see that they opened up everything and everything was still there. When you travel as much as I do, you find that you'll need to set up a temporary art studio and it may be in an environment you're not used to being in. So one of the things that I do that is the most important for me is to try to find a place that has a lot of light, that it feels comfortable, where the temperature is relatively comfortable and and where you can set up without making too much of a mess or creating any problems or being in the way of other things in that environment. One of the ways that we travel a lot is we house sit and we do a lot of house and pet sitting so we're in other people's homes so there's a lot of levels of conscientiousness and respect that we want to make sure that we're paying attention to when it comes to setting up a temporary art studio. Ideally, sitting for people that have an art studio or other artists is one of the great benefits of being a house sitter, but that's not always possible. So often I'm put in a position to need to set up a temporary place in an environment where I can still be out of the way, but be respectful of everyone's space and obvi obviously all their belongings. So this is going to be my temporary studio that I'm going to set up and just have a little space here in this empty garage that's at the current house sit where I'm at. If the people I'm house sitting for don't have a table that is kind of a work table, um, I will go and either buy something like that or borrow it from somebody else. But then I even make sure I cover it with paper, uh, make sure that I'm in a place where I'm not going to get paint on the ground. The nice thing that I really like about this place is these huge garage doors that open up. So I can actually move the table out and put it outside where I'll probably do most of my work, but then I can easily bring the table in when I'm done. So that's how I do my temporary studio uh, setup, and I'm sure it'll change in different locations wherever I am around the world, but for now, this is my, the way I'm doing it in Mexico at this particular location. But I thought you might like to see how I do it 
for this period of time. Uh, make sure that you subscribe and hit the notification bell because then I'll let you know every time I put out another video. And of course, check out this video which has to do with how I do some other packing for travel and make sure that you keep creating and I'll see you next time.